Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books October 25th, Two Opposing Forces When I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. Zechariah 9.13 Greece stands for worldly philosophy and learning, but Zion speaks of heavenly knowledge and true wisdom. Between these two there is a great gulf. They have opposite ideals and goals. The one trains for time and for this life alone. The other looks to eternity and the life that is to come. The objective of Zion's education is to prepare the students for the best in this life and for the greater good in the life that is to come. Any education that has as its ultimate aim this life alone falls far short of the ideal. We may climb to the highest intellectual attainment here, but if our education does not carry us beyond this life, this present life, into the glorious future, what will it avail? Anything that has its limit under the sun, in the end, brings disappointment and disillusionment. Solomon tried everything that it was possible to experience in this life. He had all the riches, houses, the lands that his heart desired, but when he came to give us a summary of life, he declared, Behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. The sons of Zion live beyond the sun. They are not bound by a limited horizon, but look beyond the confines of this present age to the glorious future with its limitless possibilities in the paradise of God. Greece, with all its gold and glitter, with all its sage philosophers and mighty soldiers, has passed away. But Zion, the city of our God, remains. It stands upon the true foundation whose builder and maker is God. All earthly kingdoms fade and come to an end, but the kingdom of God will never end. The subjects of that kingdom will reign with their Lord through all eternity. <laughs>